I chose to do my paper on uterus transplants. Uh, it's a relatively young uh, procedure. Uh, research has only been going on since about 1960, and the first procedure was actually performed in 2000 uh, over in Saudi Arabia. Uh, it's a little bit different than most organ transplants in that it's not designed to save your life or extend your life, but it's rather um, to allow a woman to uh, gestate a pregnancy and have you know be a mom. Um, the most successful um, live births have occurred in a Swedish cohort uh, from about 2013. Um, one of the interesting thing, things I found during this is um, there's kind of an ethical dilemma. Is it an organ transplantation or is it a um, assisted, re assisted reproductive technology? Um, because once the uterus is transplanted, you need to actually do IVF. Uh, but if you're a donor and it's an organ transplant, you can't get reimbursed for it. Or you can if you were a surrogate or, you know, if you donated an egg. I think that's kind of an interesting um, dilemma that they're going to have to figure out. Um, also, I, I didn't realize there was really that stringent of um, a checklist to be considered a successful um, potential candidate. Um, I think the most... Um, The thing that stands out the most is that hey, they say you have to be genetically a woman. Um, and there's some critics out there um, in the LGBT uh, community that are, you know, feel that the transgender women may be a little bit um, discriminated against in that, uh, from that ethical framework. Um, because science, there's a team actually in Canada that doesn't see any scientific reason why a transgender woman can't, couldn't actually at some time receive a functional uterus. Um, I do think there's probably some other um, uh, what's the word I'm looking for other uh, issues to work out with the procedure um, you know, as far as making sure all your connections are uh, your your venous connections and arterial connections are, are there. Um, again, this is you know something I didn't really know that much about, didn't know existed in. Uh, uh, it's a pretty interesting topic, and I think it's only going to grow further and faster from here.